everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video we're going to be getting into this neutral cut crease look we got a little fox eyeliner going on so let's go ahead and jump right in don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell as well so that we get notified anytime i make a new upload but yeah let's go ahead and jump right into this video so my skin is clean and ready to go i'm going to start off with some moisturizer before i get into primer though i'm using the charlotte tilbury magic cream this is the instant turnaround moisturizer so i actually really really love this moisturizer now i think i just needed to use it for like a little bit longer to kind of really see like the effects of it but i love the way that this moisturizer makes my skin feel it just gives like the skin this really youthful like dewy look to it and i'm obsessed this is such a great moisturizer especially underneath makeup yes so so good then next i'm going to go in with my primer i'm using one from elf today this is their jelly pop watermelon primer i've been loving this one recently as well it has like a bit of a sticky type of feel like once it dries down so i feel like it just grabs onto your foundation and all of your skin products so well and just makes everything last for a super long time then I'm gonna go in with the Milk Hydro Grip Spray. You can actually use this spray to set your makeup or to prime, or both. Today I'm using this to prime, so you wanna make sure that you give this a good shake before you apply it because the product does separate in the bottle. And I'm gonna spritz this right over my e.l.f. primer just to really make sure that all of my skin products afterward, my foundation, concealer, all that other stuff hold up throughout the night. I decided after filming this video, I was gonna try and go out for the night. So I just wanted to make sure that everything held up super well, especially right now it's been like super super humid outside so you know got to make sure that skin is looking right even through the humidity <laughs> So now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I haven't used this one in so long, but I forgot how much I actually really like it. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I'm using shade Morea or Medium Deep 2.3. It's a little bit on the like warmer side for me right now. Like it oxidized a little bit darker than I would have liked. But once I have like my concealer on and everything, everything will kind of like balance out again. But I love this foundation because even though it has more of a matte finish, it feels very, very comfortable to wear still. It's matte, but it's not like part your skin of all water and moisture matte. <laughs> so it still feels really comfortable to wear. And yeah, so I'm gonna apply that. So I'm gonna apply this directly onto the skin and then just blend that in using my Beauty Bakery sponge. Then for concealer, I'm going in with the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in shade T100. I'm gonna be using this concealer to highlight, so I'm gonna apply this on all the high points, so the under eyes, the sides of the nose, the sides of the mouth, and the chin. I don't add concealer directly onto the forehead, but whatever concealer is left on my sponge, after blending out all the rest of my concealer out, I'll just use that to bring a little bit of highlight into the forehead. Then we're just gonna go ahead and set that concealer with some powder. I'm using the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. I love this powder so much because it just smells so good. <laughs> this powder smells like peaches and it's just, ugh, it's everything. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use that to set my concealer and then from there, I'll go ahead and apply my powder bronzer. So I'm not gonna be cream contouring today, but I definitely wanted to bring some extra warmth and depth into the face. So I'm just gonna use a powder bronzer slash contour shade going in with the be perfect shapeshifter palette in collaboration with Kohl's world and I'm gonna be using a mixture of shades of Baywatch and spark Okay, so even though I really love that Too Faced Peach Perfect powder, I definitely should not have used it knowing that I was gonna be baking today. <laughs> I think the only thing I would've changed in this particular routine is just that first initial powder that I set with. So instead of using the Too Faced one, I probably should've just used like the powder that I'm using to bake right now from Beauty Bakery or just like a powder that's not as like mattifying as the Too Faced one. I love that powder so much, but underneath a bake, it's not really like, I don't think it's like the, the absolute 
absolute best choice of powder. Overall, I think the skin came out okay, but it's definitely not like one of my finest hours. <laughs> Once I kind of started realizing what was going on, because I could feel like my under eyes kind of getting a little bit like, you know, they were feeling a little bit dry. They were feeling a little bit dry, I'm gonna be honest. So once I kind of felt what was going on, I was like, yeah, we're not gonna be baking for too long. So um, I only had that bake on for like a little bit, but I did apply my powder how I normally do. So I went ahead and snatched the sides of the nose and added that bake onto the bridge of the nose to highlight that as well. So we all know I am obsessed with peach blush. It's just like my go-to. I love peachy, like corally types of blush colors. But today I was like, you know what? I'm gonna branch out. I'm gonna branch out and I'm gonna use a different color other than peach. We're gonna go with pink. So I started off with the Beauty Bay Powder Blusher in shade Bitten, which is more of like a pinky, mauvey type of color. But of course, once I was done applying that pink color, I was just like, mm, I need it to be more peach. <laughs> so I ended up going in with the Be Perfect Shapeshifter palette. This is the second half to the Shapeshifter palette. So there's two parts of it. There's the top half that was in collab with Cole's World and then the bottom half of the palette is in collaboration with Zachary Bang. So Zachary did this super, super cute blush palette. And of course, I'm obsessed with this orangey color on the end. It's called Amulet. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of that color on top of my pink blush to make it more on the warmer peachy side. Either way, I love the way that this blush combo came out. It's just like a really cute like pinky peach color. Then once I'm done dusting off that bake, I'm gonna go in with some setting spray just to start molding all of like these powders and skin products together. And the one that I'm using is from Beauty Bakery. So the skin is feeling so much better now that we have that setting spray on. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my nose highlight now. I'm going back in with the blush side of the Shapeshifter palette and I'm gonna take the highlighting shade called Lotus and apply that onto the bridge, the tip, and the sides of the nose. And that's pretty much it for the skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and move into the eyes. I did my brows and primed my eyelids off camera. So I'm just gonna jump right into shadows. I'm using the Playing in Makeup by Yolando times Beauty by Melissa Artistry Vault Palette. I'm gonna be starting off with one of the lighter toned browns and apply that onto the crease using a really large fluffy brush. I also set the lid space with some powder just to really make sure that the shadows that I apply onto the crease go on super smoothly and blend out really easily. I really want these shadows to just look super super, super blended. I'm then gonna go into my second darkest brown and apply that onto the crease using that same fluffy brush. And so that's pretty much it for our crease shadows. I'm gonna start cutting the crease now using some concealer. I'm just going back in with the same concealer that I used to prime my eyes. And I also use this concealer for the like under eye highlight. So this is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I'm going in with a really flat concealer brush and I'm gonna tap that product on until I have a really clean winged cut crease shape. Before I go in with my lid shadow, I do wanna add a little bit of eyeshadow primer onto the cut crease just to really make sure that whatever shadow that I apply on top doesn't crease. So I'm gonna go in with the Be Perfect Perfect Prime Eyeshadow Base. This is a favorite of mine. I've been using this primer for forever. I don't even know how long it's been now, but it's been a long time. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna apply a little bit of that onto the lid space. I'm not taking it all the way throughout the cut crease, just on the lid space where I have like my little eye creases. So when I apply my eyeshadow on top of it, that little space is increased up throughout the night. Then taking that base shadow called Don't Be Cheap, I'm gonna apply that onto the lid space. So we are all done with our shadows. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my liner now. I'm gonna go in with a gel liner first and then I'll like touch up everything using a liquid liner. The gel liner that I'm using right now is from Mel Cosmetics. This is their ultra matte gel liner in shade Immortal. So 
So now we've got our liner down. I'm gonna start correcting and like perfecting the liner using this liquid eyeliner pen from Kylie Cosmetics. This is the Kai Liner Liquid Pen. And yeah, it's just like a basic black, you know, liquid eyeliner pen, nothing crazy here. So we're gonna use that to like perfect this liner. And I'm also going to create a little wing on the inner corner. That part is hella stressful. You're definitely gonna see me like freak out a little bit because <laughs> I'm always afraid of like the inner corner wing because I'm just like scared I'm gonna mess up, but. Thank God everything turned out like super cute today. This liner actually helped out a lot too. Like the tip of this liner is really, really, really sharp and very fine. So it makes it super easy to create really sharp points. And next I'm gonna add my mascara and throw on a lash. I'm using the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. I'm using the curling side. And for my lashes today, I'm using ones from Lily Lashes. These are in the style Carmel. To finish up the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and work on my lower lash line now. I'm gonna add some liner to the waterline. This is the Too Faced Killer Liner in shade Cashmere. And then I'm gonna go in with some shadow. I'm just using the same two shadows that I applied onto the crease and placing those onto the outer portion of the lower lash line. And last but not least for these eyes, I'm gonna go back in with my mascara from Huda Beauty and apply that onto the lower lashes. So here's the thing. <laughs> I was originally gonna do a red lip, so you're gonna see me go through like the process of like doing a red lip. But of course, in the name of all things Tiffany, I decided against doing a red lip and switched to a nude. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys like the lip combo that I came up with for this red lip option, just in case you guys wanna try this look with red lips. I personally preferred it with a nude lip, but I feel like this is one of those types of looks that you can literally wear with any different lip color. I personally just don't like the way like red lips look on me. Like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like I haven't found like a shade that works, you know, that I just really, really like, but at least you guys can see it with a different lip option just in case you wanna try something other than nude. But I am gonna line first using that Charlotte Tilbury pencil. This one is in shade Pillow Talk number three. So the red lipstick that I decided to try out today is actually a new one. And this one is from Valentino. Valentino just came out with like a ton of new like beauty products not too long ago. I've been actually really wanting to try these lipsticks because they do have like more of a matte finish. So yeah, I'm applying this red lipstick here. I don't see like a name on the packaging though, which kind of stinks. So I can't give you guys like a reference as to like what color this, this shade is. All I see is 22A on the bottom. Hopefully that's like the name of it. I'll try to do some more research and put like the name of the lipstick down below in the description box just in case you guys do really like this color. You can go ahead and you know find a link to the actual shade down below in the description box. Okay, so moving into the nude lip option, I still have on that Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. The lipsticks that I'm using are both from Melt Cosmetics. I'm using their ultra matte lipstick, first in shade Tease. I'm gonna apply that one first. And then to lighten the center of the lips, I'm gonna use the shade Paris Fling. And that'll be my lip combo for today. So that pretty much completes this look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's makeup tutorial. Definitely let me know how you guys are feeling the look. Do we prefer red lips or nude lips? You guys let me know down below in the comments. You guys already know I'm definitely like a nude lip girl, but let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you and hopefully I will see you in the next one.